The Regina Pats open the 2024-25 season tonight at 7 o'clock when they take on the rival Prince Albert Raiders before their home opener on Saturday with a 6 o'clock puck drop against the rival Brandon Wheat Kings. My name is Dante DiCari and he's Drew Posty and we're excited to preview this upcoming 2024-25 season as the Pats look to make the postseason this year. But of course, it's an even slate, Drew. All teams 0-0 zero zero coming into Friday night. Yeah, and uh, it's funny you say even slate because I think the Eastern Division is going to be a lot tighter this year than it has in years past. So that opens the door for teams like the Regina Pats. And uh, this is a team that has a lot of depth up front. I think there's potentially 620 goal scorers on this team. And uh, I did not see Ewan Hue play in the preseason, but I know he's uh, put in a lot of work in the offseason. And I watched Kelton Pine play, and he looked really sharp, so I'm excited. Well, I know one thing the coaching staff is extremely excited about is the youth movement that is coming through this Regina Pats roster. Braden's Smith and Dane Deschamps have made the opening night roster as well as Samuel LaPlante. Uh, those players are younger defensemen and of course the Pats need those younger defensemen on the back end. You also look at Christian LaSalle who's a rookie as well. You also look at guys like Cohen Clausen and Cameron Kuzma and even a guy like Zach Lancer. So Drew it's got to be pretty exciting to see those young players potentially make their WHL debuts. Yeah and another cool thing about this team is there's some guys that have been together for four even five years now so those younger guys can look at those older veteran guys and see the chemistry that they've developed developed over the years and then that trend can continue for the Regina Pats into the future so uh, it's so valuable to have young guys that are together right from the start of their WHL careers and uh, there's a, there's plenty of them with this team and uh, there's a lot of upside with them as well. Well Drew a lot of the players that are new to the club actually played minor hockey together growing up you look at Zach Moore he played for the contacts in Saskatoon played a lot against some of these players like maybe a Tyson Butchkowski who was with the Blazers and even against guys like Dana Deschamps and Christian LaSalle and Braden Smith who won a championship with the Blazers last year. So it's nice to have that continuity in the dressing room, correct? Yeah, and you know each other a little bit. Uh, as, as vast as the Western Hockey League is, uh, the hockey community is a small one and a tight-knit one. So, uh, yeah, there's always guys that you've played against growing up. Uh, maybe you squared off a time or two with them, and now you're on the same team. So uh, the chemistry just builds, and it all starts from, you know, tonight and tomorrow night here at the Brand Center. Yeah, really looking forward to Friday's action against the Prince Albert Raiders. Also really looking forward to Saturday's game against the Brandon Week. Kings. Maybe predictions coming into this season. I know the expectations for the Pats is to make the playoffs. I believe that. I know you believe that. But what is it going to take for the Pats to have a successful year? Well, the Pats play a lot of hockey at home in September and October because obviously there's the big agribition trip. But then after that, there's a very difficult schedule in January with a lot of contending teams and stuff like that. So I think winning home games early is going to be a big key to success. And uh, guys just have to step up. It's as simple as that. If we think there's going to be 620 goal scorers, there needs to be 620 goal scorers to, to make the postseason because uh, with the Eastern Division as tight as it's expected to be, you know, it could come down to the final few games. And, uh, you know, these early points are that much more valuable. Well, some exciting news for the Regina Pats as well. We knew Tanner Howe would make the Pittsburgh Penguins main camp. He's still with Pittsburgh. We'll miss this opening weekend, but also missing opening weekend. We'd love to have him, but the Vaughn Twins are moving on to main camp. Undrafted players moving on to main camp. That is awesome news to hear. Corbin Vaughn with the LA Kings, Jackson Vaughn with the Anaheim Ducks. In addition, Pats alumnus Parker Berg moving on to main camp with the Los Angeles Kings. So that's got to be a pretty neat storyline. Yeah, it's really awesome to to see. I think we all expected Tanner Howe to crack main camp with the Pittsburgh Penguins being a second round pick but uh, you know coming into last year uh, the Vaughn Twins uh, right away we just saw the improvement that they had made over the offseason so uh, I know they've done that again this year and obviously it was good enough to really get noticed by Anaheim and LA and uh, you're right as much as we'd love to have them here don't come back too soon uh, I, you'll be a valuable part of this team eventually but uh, you know good luck to them and uh, it's really great to see. Well hopefully they come out of that with maybe an NHL contract they're still draft eligible so they could get drafted maybe in next summer's NHL entry draft. So some exciting stuff for both the Pats, their alumnus, Parker Berg, and the organization as well. But before we let you go, make sure to get those tickets online at reginapats.com as the Pats will be playing their first of 13 Saturday games at 6 o'clock. It's the new 6 o'clock puck drop on Saturdays and, of course, a 2 o'clock puck drop on Sunday. Saturday's home opener against the Brandon Wheat Kings will feature a 3 o'clock pregame tailgate party with a barbecue and so much more. Get those full details and come out early. Get those details. They're available at reginapads.com. And, of course, we've got a really exciting, not only game on the ice, but off the ice as well. Fantastic game day presentation for you. Make sure to get to your seats around the 6.30, or sorry, 5.30, 
30 minutes before puck drop as we've got a really exciting uh, pregame intro video as well as pregame introductions for players and staff. So enjoy the upcoming season and we will see you on Saturday for the 2024 home opener.